swim across and hopefully they're attracted to the kitchen prayer. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. You're welcome. Good thank luck. you. All right, thank you. Um, this is Rookie Shack, partially, um, along with Gary and Corey and Sean. So, Rookie's going to give us a quick tour of what they're using and, and why they're using it. My wife doesn't drink beer, but she okay. like good stuff. Well, it's about, uh, it's six and a half feet wide by 12 feet long. There's two holes inside the shack. Come on in. I never was a beer drinker. Jeez. We have a uh, 12 foot lighting in here. Here are our decoys that we use. Yeah, this is heavier than it was yesterday. Uh, some people use all sorts of shiny things like prayer plates, kitchen prayer <laughs> plates. These are just painted kind of like a fish. We had to drill multiple holes, as you can see, in the bottom and fill them with lead so that it'll sink. So this thing wasn't floating as of yesterday, right? Nope. Or it was it floating. It was floating. <laughs> yeah. Man. So. It seems like that'd be the easy thing. Like, that's all it needs to do is sink. Yeah. But obviously it's harder than yeah. Same, it probably weighs 10, 15 pounds. It's just a piece of wood. So. Yep. Um, so on both sides of the shack, we have holes. Um, I can kind of pull this up. Decoys annoy a little bit. Well, there's the hole. Uh, goes down. So, so how big is how big is the hole? The hole is almost three feet by five, a little over five feet. Okay, so these, I mean, in general, I mean, from, from what I thought, they're bigger than kind of I was, I was expecting um, for the most part. So. Yeah, it, it's all on preference, too. Uh, so, we did that. We have a gaff hook here, in case you get a real big one that you need a little bit of help pulling out. This looks like something you see in the ocean. Yep, for sure, it's a large fish. Marlin. So, and you can see, we've got a little table. Some nice, nice carpet to lay on. <laughs> Beautiful cup holders for you know soda, everything like that. Um, if you look over here, we've got our CD player, CB radio, and in the corners we have our speakers. We so can, I see a few sets of light bulbs. Um, yep. These these three here run off the 12 volt battery we have, and then we have a fixture here and a fixture right above the camera on both sides so that we can put a light bulb and it's also wired for 110 so if we want to hook up a generator we can run things off that so if you guys are marathoning yep. a little overnight yeah we can actually plug in a toaster and make some toast in the morning if we huh. really want to um, these are our window covers uh, typically when you're sturgeon spearing you want to darken the shack so you want to be able to cover the windows uh, you can unscrew these and slide them open so if you're just regularly ice fishing in there you can do that um, other than that, there's nothing overly fancy. We've got uh, two PVC tubes up in the corners, uh, right right past where we hook our, our spears. We hook our spears onto here, and then we stuff our rope in the tube, so when we, if we do we get a chance to spear a sturgeon, then it pulls the, the rope right out of there. Then we, over here we have a heater. This keeps us warm. It's Dynaglo, Dyna very high quality. Um, I would recommend this to anybody that you know is building a shack and wants to stay warm. I mean, I can't even keep my hand on it for very long because it just you know it's emits so much heat. Um, We're not getting paid to endorse Dynaglo. <laughs> <laughs> so that's about it. I mean, it's simple, but there's so, so what is nice amenities. what is this trapdoor? Oh, well. Sometimes you have empty cans, and it doesn't pay to open the door just to throw a can out because you lose a lot of heat. It's not very efficient. It's not green, as they would call it. So I came up with this this trap door, as if you will, with a, with a spring on it. You just lift it up, stick the can out, and close it. 
and on the other side, huh. there's a bag, and it catches all the empty cans. Huh. Especially when it's windy out on the lake, Tyler. You never know, those cans can be blown all the way across, and, and you really That's don't true. want that. Yeah. You don't want to be littering. Yeah, we uh, try to keep real clean lakes, lakes on the broken bomber. Yep. So, so run us through the process. So you got, you, you're going to have a spear hanging. Yep. You see a fish. Run us through the, there's, there's, in general, four people kind of hanging out in here, sitting on chairs, um, staring at holes. Yeah. So, so you see a fish, somebody spears a fish, what happens next? Well, first, first of all, you see a fish, you want to, you want to, you know, take some care in, in removing the spear off first. Then you want to stab the damn thing, pretty much. You just you just want to get it. After that, it's kind of a shit show. You know, you're gonna have one guy throwing the door open to the shack. You want to get all the chairs out. Granted, just, there's what four to six chairs set up. Yeah. At a time. You know, and say you know you're, you're in this chair, and, and, and you get a, you get a fish. You know, you don't want chairs in the way. You gotta grab it. <laughs> fish! Get that out of there! Dar, get it open! Get the shit out of here! More, another chair! Get it out! Oh, fish! You know, you just wanna clear the way. Gap hook! Get the gap hook! Alright, so then you can so work on getting the fish out. You don't have to be gentle, is what you're saying. No, <laughs> no. You wanna, I mean, it's business. You know, it's all fun fun and games till you get the fish online. Then, then, then it's it's time to work. You just that's whatever you can yep. do to get that fish on top of the ice rather than where it was. Yes, you have to get it out of the water. Below the ice. Yep. So. All right. Well. Yeah. Sounds like a, quite a process. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of boring, it's kind of subtle for a while, but when that fish is there and you get it on the line, mayhem, chaos, <laughs> controlled chaos, chaos and control. Some might say. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, appreciate you. Uh, I mean, it seems like you covered all the uh, the basics. Yeah. Um, monkey. Good luck charm. So, well, thanks for uh, running us through, and good luck on the rest of the year. No problem. Yeah, I think he had it right there, but then. How many people from Eden does it take to open a bottle of wine? <laughs> I'm not from Eden, so I don't know. <laughs> I used to be. Yeah, but, yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Hey! <laughs> End of it, right here. Gotta get the piece. I'm here with Andy, looking at uh, Andy and Joe's shack.